All right, guys, how's it going out there? Rooster here in Tennessee, another amp up for sale. I do have one gentleman that's possibly coming to get this one, uh, so I'll wait to hear from him after he sees the video, but it could be uh, could be available. Pick up only on this one, two-piece amp, power supply here, and then your RF deck here. Got a couple of cables in the back that connect them. Uh, this is a foot pedal amp. Uh, it does require you to key with a foot pedal, and it's also a high drive amp now here's your plate voltage right here uh, rocking around 28 2800 volts or so 27 something like that you've got a uh, switch here on the front if you flip it into the cw tune position it lowers the voltage if you put it in the ssb position uh, you've got the voltage it's at now i believe it drops below 2000 in the uh, cw or tune position and if anybody knows anything about 500 z's uh, this is kind of loafing along on the voltage. Um, I've had several that, that, that ran anywhere from 3,400 volts up to 4,000 volts. So this one's kind of loafing along. Standby here, if you do want to put it in standby, although it doesn't really need it, considering you'll be keying it with a foot pedal, you can push that in, standby. Uh, multiple functions for the meter here. Everything functions on it. All the uh, bands function. It has not been mono banded. There's your uh, band selector right there. And you've got two tuners here. We've just tuned it for maximum output. Now, unlike the Ameritron, uh, there are no safety uh, kickouts or anything like that with this amp. And uh, 500Zs are very forgiving. So you can, uh, they take quite a beating. Um, Mistuning them doesn't necessarily kill them like it does other tubes. Uh, they aren't gonna fail. So there's no need for a, a protection circuit on this. On and off switch right here, powers the power supply up remotely. So you don't ever have to touch the power supply. You can set this thing down the floor uh, or whatever you want to do with it. Super nice amp, the nicest, bar none that I've ever had, Drake L4B. Completely refurbished on the inside. Uh, tubes have chimneys on them, so they run extra cool. When you turn it on at first, the blower does make just a little bit of noise. Nothing serious, just kind of a little, a little rattle in it. Once it gets going, that goes away. Tell you, you can't even hear it running right now. Uh, power supply has a new cap and diode board in it there. You can see. And may have a different transformer. I'm not 100% sure, but does have a cap, diode board, and all that. Like I said, the amp's been refreshed, uh, gone through. Extremely nice amp. Um... I don't know if I mentioned it already, but do have one person interested in it. Supposed to come get it this weekend, possibly. Uh, I will let them see this video first and see what they say. A couple of guys coming to get a few amps. So I wanted to do a test video uh, before they come and got it so they could see this thing run. Uh, and I can get my regular test, test bench back together and uh, get back to doing other videos once we get all these tube amps knocked out. But that's it. It will be pickup only. No shipping on this one. Uh, don't want to ship them. It's not worth the risk. I'll meet people within a reasonable distance, uh, but I don't want to ship. So uh, that being said, we're going to drive it with a Carl built C80. Uh, that's a two pill 2290 and we do have it in the low position. So we're doing about 280 watts PEP. Now I've had several 500 Z amps. Um, somebody's probably going to come in here and say, Oh, you shouldn't put more than 150 watts peak into that thing, uh, whatever. Uh, I, I, my experience with 500Zs, okay, I have ran them to the point of failure, and I have ran them for many years without ever replacing a tube in them. Uh, I had a three-tuber that I put about 550 watts peak into for two or three years, never put a tube in it. Uh, I had a single tube that I actually did drive it too hard, and ended up having to put a tube in it and I was putting about 200 watts PEP into it. So my recommendation for longevity, last forever, 150 watts PEP per tube um, and drive them to 500 to 600 watts average per tube, whatever that takes. Um, but about that's usually about 50 to 60 watts average going in and 150 to 160 PEP. Now the breaking point for them where it starts putting a hurt on them, they heat up real fast is around 200 watts PEP. So my opinion, anywhere between 150 and 200, you're kind of in the safe zone. I like to run mine a little bit on the conservative side, around 150 watts PEP per tube. All right, 
that being said, let's show you what this thing does. Uh, we're swinging, like I said, around 280, 290 into it. And uh, I don't even know what we're doing average. I would guess 100 watts average or so, give or take. Um, we've got a, what we got in here, 5,000. 5,000 watt slug in there. So we're going to be looking at the middle scale. I'll go ahead and key it up. So that's about a 500 watt dead key. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Bouncing up a little bit over a thousand, but realistically, right around a thousand watts average. So that's 500 watts average per tube, not putting it in a bind whatsoever. Ooh. Ooh. We're not even drawing uh, eight milliamps. So a 500Z can draw half an amp per tube at maximum output, full tilt. So you would see this thing draw an amp if we were really humping on it. Uh, and we'd probably be doing about 1200 watts average, but uh, drawing about three quarters of an amp right there. Okay, PEP, we'll get this video wrapped up. Middle scale, middle scale, middle scale, middle scale, middle scale, about 2,500 PEP. And in my opinion, that's running it pretty conservative. I do believe it would be capable of uh, 3,000 PEP if we put some more into it. But uh, holding 2,500 watts PEP, no problem. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio. Tubes aren't even, uh, I've well, got a couple rings lit up there, but nothing serious. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio check, 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 audio. About 25, 2600 watts PEP. All right, guys, that's it. Super nice Drake L4B. Good as a new one there. Uh, I don't think there's a, a new 22500 Z box that you can buy that's going to do any better than this one. So, uh, questions, comments, shoot me a text. I'll be waiting to hear from this one fella, see if he's wanting to get it. But uh, questions, comments, shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. Rooster in Tennessee. See you, bye.